<laughs> we had a, a great supporter, Rick Morazic, uh, from the Canadian Wildlife Federation, who had died while we were at sea. Uh, the boat was named after Jordan's father, who passed away when he was three. Marcus's mother's ashes were buried in the Atlantic Ocean. And so I started thinking about all these people who had, had died before us, who are our supporters, who were on our side, being from the spirit world. And we looked at this bird, you know, an omen really, for, of hope, and uh, as soon as I saw this, uh, this bird, I said, we're, we're going to live, we're, we're going to be okay. Um, we had a lot of time to think about what happened, and when we got in that life raft and we were going over through everything that happened, we we came to the conclusion that there wasn't much that we would do differently. Um, one of the few things that we would have done differently was we would have brought a book with us to read while we were in the life raft, because the only thing that came in the life raft was a little mini Holy Bible. And I had been actually talking during the road that I wanted to read the Bible, but I, I picked up the little mini Bible and I started reading the book of Genesis, and right as that happened, the first plane flew overhead, like directly overhead. Pat started screaming like a little girl, and I started crying. <laughs> and uh, it was just such a relief to know that they were already on top of us, and that we, you know, we were going to be safe. Uh, for 73 days, we uh, we rode in seas up to four meters. Um, Every day we were sending back scientific information and communication information for an education program.